Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve middle of the linked list, leak code number 876. It actually develops a really clever algorithm, which we're going to use a bunch of times. So we're given the head of a singly linked list, and we want to return the middle node of that linked list. And if there happens to be two middle nodes, which would happen if you have an even number of nodes in the list, then you want to return the second one. Okay, so in this example, it's pretty clear. We have the list of one, two, three, four, five. Since we have an odd number, we actually have exactly one middle. So it's simply the three here. And you wanna just return that node. So you'd actually return a reference to that node. Okay, in this example two here, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's an even number. So there's actually the middle is two values. It's three and four. And as the question said, we wanna return the second one. So we'd return a reference to this four here. Okay, so let's suppose we are given this linked list here, and as we know, we'd want to return a reference to this node here. Now, the most obvious thing to do, and the runtime's actually fine, because it's also going to be a big old n solution, and it'll actually have constant space as well. So the first most obvious thing to do is to just traverse through the list and to calculate its length. So we could have, say, a length variable starting at zero, we could have a pointer cur at the head, and then while cur is a valid node, we would just kind of increase one to our length every time here so it goes up by one we'd move it over it's still in bounds so it goes up to two that's pretty easy we'd go up until we go out of bounds and our length is going to be five after we had that the length is five then we could explicitly say that the middle is say l over two integer division so that's going to work for an odd number here we'll see if it works for an even number in a second here if you have m equals five integer division over two that'll be 2.5 which rounds down to two so if we set a pointer cur to be the head and we basically moved this over m times here we would have one two and we could return cur but now let's pretend that we actually had another element here so let's suppose that we were actually given the list of one two six inclusive over here and sorry i forgot this over c over here hiding out okay so now l would actually be that's going to give a value of six and then it's going to be six over two is going to give precisely the value of three here so what that would mean is well following the same rule as before we'd start it at the head and then we would go forward three times so we could do one two and three and that is actually the desired value because if we were to look at this right here our middle two are here and so the one we actually want to return is the second one so this strategy would actually work quite well but we're not going to write that one Okay, now the one that we are going to do, and it's going to have the same runtime, it's still going to be O of N, and it's still going to be constant space. So it's technically no better in any particular way, other than it's a useful algorithm that's going to come up a couple times. So the algorithm is called slow and fast pointers. So we're actually going to get two pointers, both starting at the head. So we'll get a slow and fast pointer, separate, both pointing to the head. And then what that's going to do is basically it's called fast, because fast is going to move over twice as fast as slow. And slow is basically just the normal pace. You know, normally we move over one at a time. So slow is going to move over one at a time and fast is going to move over two at a time. So that's basically saying whenever slow, I'll just call it S, is equal to S dot next. That's how we kind of traverse from one to the next. We would actually do that fast is equal to fast dot next dot next. Now that is making a large assumption. That's actually making the assumption that F dot next is a valid node because you can't call dot next on null. That that doesn't exist we'll see how to deal with that in the the loop when that comes up but basically that's the rule that we're going to do here so we'll do that until fast can't move anymore. So at the same time here, we're going to move slow over one. We'll move fast over twice. We'll move slow over once. We'll move fast over twice. At this point, you can see that fast exists. This is a node and fast.next exists as well. So it's actually going to do one more iteration here. And then slow is going to arrive here. And again, that actually happens to be exactly what we wanted because our middle two nodes are right here. We return the second one, which is this one. Okay, now let's just do this one more time for an odd number to see if that works as well if we have slow and fast at the beginning fast is going to move twice slow moves once fast moves twice slow moves once we have that fast exists but we don't have fast.next so it can't go over two this is actually where we terminate here and again slow is going to be right in the middle so this algorithm is called fast and slow pointers we'll see in future videos why it's actually useful uh, but this is another way to solve the problem Okay, so let's write our code here. It's actually quite easy. We'll set slow equal to the head and we'll point fast equal to the head as well. And we can run this loop while we have fast 
and we also have fast.next because we're going to set fast equal to fast.next.next. So we can't run this unless we know that fast.next exists. And so we make sure that we have fast as a pointer and we have fast.next as well. So we do that, we move fast over twice. We will move slow over once. So slow is equal to slow.next. And that's actually the algorithm because all you have to do is return the reference to the node in the middle, which is always gonna end up at slow. Whether you have one node or two nodes or three nodes, it's always going to work. Okay, so as we said here, the time complexity of this is going to be a big O of n solution, and the space complexity is we're not really storing anything here, just two pointers, literally just two pointers, so that is definitely constant space. Either solution is fine, but this one is a little more elegant. I hope this was helpful, guys. Drop a like if it was, and have a great day. Bye-bye.